Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about the great week President Trump and us conservatives have been having. Not only did the Mueller report conclude that there was no Russia collusion in the 2016 election, but also MSNBC and CNN have been crying and trying to justify their debunked witch hunts all week now. A few days ago we already went over how Rachel Maddow was nearly breaking down into tears last week on her show. And this time, we're tuning in to see how CNN is handling this massive L they've just been handed. Losers. Particularly, we're going to see how that old liar and race baiter Don Lemon is handling all of this situation. He's been one of the worst and most vocal supporters of this Trump-Russia collusion conspiracy theory, so needless to say, Lemon hasn't been taking the news that this is all over too well. First, he's just been very quiet and soft-spoken and somber on television since Mueller's announcement that there's no more indictments. And now, a few days later, and Don is on the verge of breaking down about this. The first video we got from CNN with Don is called, Don Lemon, this is the biggest unanswered question, and it's got a whopping 4.6 thousand dislikes already. This should be good. Let's go ahead and check it out. So let's bear in mind what we got today is a summary of Robert Mueller's findings. It is not the entire report. And what we have learned, quite frankly, it raises a lot of new questions as we move forward. One of the biggest questions tonight, why did Robert Mueller not come to a conclusion on obstruction himself? Jesus Christ, dude, get over it. You can really tell how desperate and holding on to hope these loser lefties are at this point. Now that we know there was no collusion, the report concluded that, but now liberals want to hold on longer and say maybe Trump obstructed justice. But you gotta ask, why didn't Mueller conclude on obstructing justice? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because he wants stupid airhead liberals like Don Lemon to keep this thing going and open-ended, even though Trump has been vindicated for a long time now. This is also a roundabout way of trying to entrap the president and to a crime. Think about it. They launched this big, fake, and phony Russia investigation that turned up no evidence and was based on lies. So since they can't get Trump on the original charges, they're trying to get him on obstruction of those original charges. So essentially, Mueller and the conspiracy theorists on the left drummed up some fake charges just to get Trump into hot water for a minute. They knew those wouldn't stick though, so now they're trying to get him on obstructing those fake charges they started. Absolutely absurd, right? I don't even think Trump obstructed or did anything wrong here, but even if he did this, even if he did obstruct, those obstruction charges should be dropped anyway, since they came from some liars who were trying to push fake Russia collusion nonsense. This tactic also reminds me of Rachel Maddow a lot. We went over her reactions to the Mueller report a couple days ago, and she did the same kind of thing Don Lemon is doing now. They're pretending this conclusive, Trump did nothing wrong report is really raising more questions, when it's not. Really, it's only raising questions for corrupt fake news reporters like you guys, because you're completely biased against the president and conservative. Shit, this is why Mueller didn't conclude on obstruction in the first place. He was biased about this too, and he wanted to leave something open-ended so left-wing pundits could continue to slander the president about it. Just imagine if you got accused of committing a crime you didn't do, and the team prosecuting you was all of your worst political enemies. And then when they can't find any evidence that, say, you killed someone or robbed a bank, well, then they turn to saying, yeah, he may be innocent of that crime, but he didn't go along with our fake investigation exactly perfectly, according to us, his worst enemies. Sounds pretty ridiculous, right? Well, that's exactly what Don Lemon and the Democrats are doing right now to President Trump. But the fact remains, Russians did interfere in our election. They spread disinformation on social media, and they waged a hacking campaign that included stealing emails from Hillary Clinton's campaign and from Democratic Party organizations. Everyone alive in 2016 interfered with our election, Don. People were making posts, videos, reports, campaign ads, and everything all across the globe. But do you think Don would call another group nefarious for promoting Hillary Clinton then? Say the country of Yemen bought some Facebook ads for her. Would that be a terrible thing according to Don? Because I seriously doubt it. Or what about Don and CNN themselves? They did everything in their power to get Hillary elected that year. Would that be considered wrong or unfair? Well, not to them, of course. And sure, they might think it's okay because they're most mostly from America, but I say supposed journalists and news outlets should not be biased in pushing for one candidate over the other, and they especially shouldn't be doing it by lying. Regardless, I think you get my point here. Millions of people and groups and countries were all having their ways with our election in 2016. The only reason Don and the Dems are mad at Russia is because they supposedly backed Donald Trump. And of course, since he ended up winning, they started this Russia collusion nonsense to try and convince people that Trump cheated or something, when really, he won fair and square. The special counsel determined that, and the attorney general acknowledged that in his letter. So why has the president repeatedly deferred to Vladimir Putin, who is an enemy, 
who waged an attack on our democracy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second here. What? There are so many things wrong with what I just heard, I don't even know where to start. First of all, Russia is not our enemy. As much as you liberals want to start World War III with them, Trump has thankfully smoothed over our relationship with the Russian Federation. Sure, we could still be seen as in competition with Russia, but that could be said of any big and powerful country out there in the world. Do you think Don would say China is our enemy? Or what about India or Brazil? I don't think so. The real reason Don is pretending Russia is our enemy is because he's trying to taint Trump's win here. And he's trying to hint at our country's formerly adversarial relationship with Russia from the past. Yeah, a lot of this whole Russia collusion conspiracy theory comes from the Democrats trying to scare old people who still remember and have fear about the Cold War we had with Russia back in the 80s. That ended with the fall of the USSR in 1991 though. So no, we are not still enemies of Russia. We are not fighting them or in large disagreements with them. This is just bullshit CNN is peddling to try and scare up their low IQ and very old liberal base. Next, Don falsely calls the United States a democracy, a common mistake made by most Democrats. And also, like the text on CNN's screen reads now, they phrase this as Trump deferring to Putin, like Russian President Putin is really the one in charge here in America, or some bullshit. But really, no, Trump never deferred to Putin at all. All he did was meet and speak with the guy, which is exactly what presidents are supposed to do with significant foreign leaders. And sure, this wasn't Obama or the liberals' policy when they were in charge, but like like I said before, the left-wingers almost got us into World War III with Russia, but Trump stopped that, thank God. Just like how he ended the Korean War through diplomacy and negotiations, too. So yeah, that's the thing. The Democrats don't want diplomacy and negotiations with foreign powers. That's why we were on the brink of war before, and that's why the threats from North Korea got worse under the Democrats, too. In fact, the liberals are so against peace and diplomacy so much, they accuse politicians like Trump of colluding with foreign powers, when he's just talking and getting along with them like we should. Should. That's right. Now a president doing his job is akin to treason, according to the left-wingers and social justice warriors. And this is why Americans are taking the left less and less seriously each day, too. Putin is still attacking our democracy. Why has the president kept his own aides in the dark about his communications with Putin, even taking away his interpreter's notes? And when will we learn about more details about what the attorney general in his letter today describes as, quote, multiple offers from Russian affiliated individuals to assist the Trump campaign. Dude, Don, time to move on, buddy. You can keep raising all the bullshit questions you want, just like what Rachel Maddow did on her own show. But it's not going to work here. Face the facts. Trump did not collude with Russia. At the very least, you have to admit that you can't prove any collusion. But instead of taking their L and going on with their lies, admitting their faults, Don Lemon is acting all serious and worried about our democracy, even though this country is doing better than ever. And, of course, we're not a democracy at all. We're a constitutional republic. Get it right. But that first part is what really really worries me. By all measurable factors, the United States is doing better than ever right now. Unemployment is down, the economy is up, wars are ending around the globe, and more Americans are happy and healthy than ever. But the Democrats are still butthurt because they lost and aren't in charge. They're big babies. In fact, they're so salty about this, they're trying to pretend the United States isn't doing well. And they're even implying that we have a foreign leader who's really calling the shots over here now. And well, I have to say, let's go ahead and assume that Putin stuff is true. Let's just say Trump is Putin's puppet for a minute. And then I would have to say boldly, so what? If Putin is really calling the shots right now, then he's doing a pretty damn good job. So let's go ahead and keep this system going. The country's certainly doing better than we did under Obama. And obviously, this is better than what would have happened if Hillary had won. Now, before we go, let's quickly look at one more video from Don Lemon, this sad loser. A few days after the last video, Don decided to admit Trump was having a great day, a great week even. But he also doubled down on this Russiagate conspiracy nonsense. Take a look. So what a day this has been for the president. What a day this has been for the president. Sort of like Christmas, his birthday, and election night 2016 all rolled into one. The dark cloud of the Russian investigation lifted. And the president's nemesis, well, one of them facing criminal charges. You can't write this stuff. We're going to have more on that in a moment. Yeah, well, that part's about Michael Avenatti, a crooked lawyer who has been coming after Trump for years. And well, surprise, surprise, he got arrested on charges of fraud last week. And something Don Lemon probably won't mention here, but Avenatti was brought on to CNN and given a platform by them and MSNBC time and time again. That's right. CNN themselves supported this defamed lawyer and known liar who's been arrested for fraud, all because Avenatti helped them attack President Trump. I guess they'll side with 
anyone. And you can easily see how bitter and jealous Don is here in the video. He's jealous of the president who's having a great day. Sure, Don's pretending to give the president a compliment and he's even acknowledging how everything is coming up in Trump's favor this week. But instead of just addressing that fairly or straightforwardly, Don has to say it in this sarcastic, bitter, butthurt kind of way that just makes him look like a sore loser and very salty on live TV. But President Trump is basking in the glow of the no collusion that he says all the time after Bill Barr's letter summarizing the Mueller report stated the investigation did not establish that Trump or his campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government. Mueller did not reach a conclusion on obstruction. Yeah, that's because he didn't reach a conclusion on obstruction, you idiot. Obstruction charges are contingent that the original charges go through. But they didn't, so you can't charge a man for obstructing on a charge that was false. That's just stupid. And why did Don do those air quotes when he said no collusion anyway? I mean, the Mueller report spent two years and countless resources looking into this. And they found nothing, so no collusion isn't something you would air quote here. No collusion is a fact, and I think, instead of doubling down here, Don should start coming to terms with reality. Barr quotes him saying, while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him, which hasn't stopped the president, by the way, from falsely claiming he was totally exonerated. What the hell kind of trickery is this? That's some real Brave New World 1984 type doublespeak right there, Don. This guy's clearly trying to gaslight us or something because if the report has no indictments for Trump, then he clearly committed no crimes. And that's pretty much exactly the definition of exoneration, Don. They did a big two-year investigation and found nothing. Thus, the president is proven innocent or he's exonerated. I guess Don's trying to play some kind of weird word games here or something. I think he just can't bring himself to admit Trump's exoneration because that makes it just sound too good for the president. And I'm also guessing Don thinks there's some kind of other crimes Trump could have committed at some other time, you know, some other possibility, like all those random conspiracy theory-like questions that he and Rachel Maddow keep bringing up. Trump could have done this. He could have cheated this way. He could have maybe done something else. Absurd. In reality, this could be said of anyone. So I guess no one can be completely exonerated anymore because there's always possible crimes we could have committed in our past. This is the way Don Lemon and Rachel Maddow are thinking right now and it's absolutely ridiculous. In the end, Trump was proven innocent and he was innocent all along. And most of us knew this from the beginning. Sure, Don Lemon is still doubling down here and he won't admit the president is exonerated, but according to Lemon's definition, no one's really completely exonerated then. He's using a weird double speak hypothetical version of the term in order to manipulate the real definition so as to not give Trump full credit here. It's pretty petty, childish, and manipulative and also just plain wrong. And of course, going by Don's own logic, he himself himself is not exonerated either. In fact, if we judge Lemon with the same strict and corrupt ways he judges President Trump, Don himself would be in court fighting dozens of charges right now. Think about it. Don Lemon deliberately and publicly tried to sway the 2016 election live on TV in front of everyone. He lied and pushed for Hillary, even saying she would win when we all saw she obviously didn't. And since then, Don still to this day pushes the Russia conspiracy theory onto people on television, unable to accept the fact that Trump won in 2016. And as a result, we are now making America great again. Yes, the United States is better off than ever, and it's thanks to the president, Donald J. Trump. And of course, this is all happening in spite of what liberals like Don Lemon have done to try and ruin this nation with lies and fake accusations. What do you guys think? Is Don Lemon getting delirious? Will he ever accept the 2016 loss? And why does he still think Russia is an enemy to America? Or for that matter, why doesn't Don know that America is a democracy? He's a reporter. He's supposed to know this shit, right? Comment your thoughts on everything below, and thanks for watching no bullshit hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time